Yo guys, welcome from Legends. Today I'm gonna show you this new drone case uh, for DJI Mini 3 Pro. So this is a Star RC case. It's a really good case. It's like a hard case, and um, I'm gonna show you the setup. So all you gotta do is open this, and as you can see, I've got my drone here, controller here. And I'm gonna show you the setup process. So I put this rubber band here just to stop the blades from moving around. So I'm gonna remove that. Then I'm gonna take these thumb screws and put them on the controller, put the joysticks on the controller. I've also got my spare propellers and screwdriver just to have it there just in case. So now I'm gonna put my phone in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this drone case as a takeoff point, takeoff box. So that's another reason why I've got this case, so I can use it to easily take off. Because as you can see, when I'm in a place like this, there's no flat land to take off from. Obviously, when I land it, I can hold it in my hand. Right, so I'm going to remove the... And uh, this thing to protect the gimbal from uh, moving around. And I'm going to put that inside the case. Put that on the side of the drone and put the stuff in here just temporarily now I'm going to use it as a takeoff point and then I could just close this when I'm in the flight I'll just carry this around if I'm walking around but if I'm going to stay here I could just leave it here so yeah obviously I'm going to switch to this phone now so uh, yeah I'll see you soon alright guys um, we're now screen recording on my phone now I'm going to take out the drone so as you can see the drone is sitting on the box in the drone case so we can take off now take off home point updated so we're in the air now as you can see this is my uh, drone case so now I could just carry it around if I'm gonna go fly somewhere as you can see We are in sport mode. Let's go a little bit higher. So yeah, I'm trying to walk around here. I'm gonna give it a nice view of London. I'm gonna do a 360. I'm in a place where did the high wind test, so on this exact place. So as you can see, we've hit 340 feet. Max altitude reached. Alright, the max altitude, we're going to give it a 360 view as you can see. It's really nice weather to fly in. Look at those views. It's, it's been really far to see London. We're going to see central London from here. Look at that. Lovely views. We're now going to st stop recording. We're going to do a 360 photo. So we're going to, it's really nice. Whatever, so I'm going to take a 360 photo right now, stop recording. I'm going to go on panel mode. I'm just going to, just going to let it take its photo. We're just going to take a little bit of time. Alright, we're going to switch the mode. I'm going to take a portrait photo of uh, the London skyline. The sky is peeking through so it looks really nice. Let's take a vertical photo. A really nice photo. Now I'm just gonna just gonna do a video, start recording. So as you can see, we're back in recording mode. As you can see, we are here. We're gonna try and go to this area. You can kind of look, you hear it. Is it fighting the wind? Yeah, it's fighting the wind. As you can see, it's going only 20 miles per hour and it should be going 35 miles an hour. It's facing headwind right now. So I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at the drone in real life. So yeah, look at that.
as you can see see quite a lot we're gonna go right in the area I can see the drone still I'm looking at it in the sky look at that look at that view insane you can see the dual carriageway literally outside the park now but I can see the drone looking at it right in the sky we're not gonna go that far we're just gonna stay here it's not even sunny here it's literally sunny where the drone is and now now I start to pick up where I am right now look at those views absolutely insane oh she's a little bit low but it's fine because So yeah, really nice views. I'm gonna go a little bit back. I'm gonna go cinema mode, cinema mode. You know, cinema mode. Just a little bit. Look at that. That looks insane. Yeah, these are really nice views. Sun is peeking out right now. Gonna get some nice cinematic photo. I could even make stock footage out of this, you know that? I want to go to these fields over there, like as you can see, far out. Look at that. You can see, you can probably see a rainbow. I can see it from where I am, yeah, you can see. You can clearly see it. Absolutely insane. Nice weather. You can see a lot. I like the winter sun, it looks really nice. So where I'm, I'm, I'm right over here. I wonder if you can see my shadow. You can't really. So yeah, in my last flight, I did low down shots of. Uh, look at that! It looks so nice. I want to keep it here. I want to keep views of East London. I can make stop. I can make a time lapse. I'm gonna leave it there. Do a time lapse, and then in post I can just edit it. I mean, the wind might push it around, so it won't look stable. That drone's right there. I can see. These are some nice views. We're gonna head back now. We're gonna try these low down shots again. Cause it looks really, I think it looks really cool. Let's head back to the park. Right, it's cinema mode, we need to go sport mode. As you can see, I'm right here. I'm gonna land it now. But look how fast it goes. We're gonna go low, low down on the grass now. We're gonna. Like, there's no people where it is, right? So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna go in sport mode. 
We're gonna go at full speed, check us out. That looks so okay, we gotta go up a little bit. It's a bit windy, I wanna go in portrait mode. She followed this trail, look, you can see this trail, look. I'm gonna follow this trail. I know where it is right now. I'm gonna go to portrait mode. Film this trail. Check us out. Let's not let's not go so far down that, that it's gonna land. Look at that, that looks so sick. I've gotta be careful. Oh flip, we nearly hit we nearly hit the tree. I've got to be really careful. I don't know where the drone is. As you can see. Look how close we are to this, look. That looks so sick. We've got to watch our surroundings. We don't want a drone to clip the tree. Right, I'm looking at it. As you can see, the drone is alright. Look at that, it looks insane. So let's go to a different area. Forgot to, stop Forgot to start recording. I wanna go to what that chimney thing is, but that's, that's, too, that's too far, so. What's that place over there? Should we fly up above it? What's that over there? All right. Max let's go, altitude let's, reached. Let's go a little bit lower. Let's just turn back. I think you can see it and hear it. You can hear it, look. You go over this little dome whatever this is called okay Look at that rainbow over there. I love this park still, so. I don't know where I can go next. I wanna go, I'm actually bored of flying in parks. I feel like I'm gonna go somewhere where, uh, where is the park? I wanna go somewhere where like I can, uh, get nice footage like I can even go like near the roads and just get like a nice footage of the roads so you can see you can see a lot if I was just fly to the battery dies I can even go low down here. 
But I'm, I'm probably going to lose signal because I'm in front of a lot of trees. Plus the drone will automatically return to home. Let's see if I lose signal if I go down here. There's pigeons over there. I don't want to... I don't know where this... See, alright, we're, we're losing signal. Right, let's come back up. Let's return back. Battery level is low. Battery's low. Aircraft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. I'm gonna land a drone now. I'm gonna hand grab it. Right, we landed. I'm gonna put this away. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. And yeah guys, peace out. Oh, 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 oh,